Okay, Cancer, this is your seasonal report here for the winter. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, for the winter season, um, I got you a work reading, a spirituality reading, and an extended love reading. So we're just going to start with the spiritual side here and see what we get. Okay, your first card, Honor Gaia. So... This usually comes about when um, we may not be honoring our earthly energies or uh, things on the earth. We may be quite um, flippant with the earth. At this, how do I say that? Like we, uh, you know, the sense they're giving me is we're not recycling. We're not being environmentally friendly, this kind of thing. So there might be an, uh, an omission at this time. <sighs> We may be doing something harmly, harmfully to the earth at this time or being involved in something in this way. Never had that frequency quite before. Um, this is the sense that I'm getting. So it's to take into account a little our part in making the earth happy, that kind of thing. This is what I'm getting from the that card. Next card we get is Seek Your Answers Within. So again... A lot of the overlap here with the cancer is we need to um, not only receive the instinct, but to act upon it. So um, the sense here is we may be focusing on that um, and that as well may be, um, may be coming at us in an earthly way because they're going, we are not following our instinct when it comes to the world and things of a, a bigger nature, not just our little world that we're in but the bigger scheme of things is our part in the world this could be even uh towards helping others in the world today a refusal to do so or but either way the sense they're giving me is that we may uh, have validation instinctively of this telling us to kind of reach out a little bit and help others on the earth that may be more with this card sitting next card change is unavoidable okay so there's something here on a heart level that's being screeched at you is the sense. We know internally and in our heart where this sits. And change is going to come based on that feeling, whether we decide to make action on it or not. Okay, this is coming down for a lot of people, so don't... Not a big deal. Uh, well, it is a big deal. It's just being an active participant in our own life. We are not doing this. And the universe wants you to. So they're going to create a scenario where you have to take action based on the decisions that they make rather than what you make. And again, they want you to be an active part of that. But if we are not active, the change is going to happen no matter. Okay. So on top of changes unavoidable here. Actually, I'm going to go back to the Honor Gaia energy. And yeah, they're saying we're more, it's not necessarily the earth uh, per se, but we take that into account. But it's an avoidance of humanity as a whole to help the fellow man. This is what's being refused. And I feel like there's an instinct of this, like go outward and help others. And a refusal to do this at this time from the heart. So six of water is about creative expression and that sits on top of here one way to contribute is to be creative artists create highly to an energy field um and they are highly guided as well and even though you feel well it's just my little hobby you are creating to a better world in that way whether it's uh, through music is a huge one as well people can drop energy in music and contribute to a better you know so one person could be at their last minute where they're wanting to i hate to be raw with this but they're just not wanting to be on the earth anymore and then suddenly a song comes on the radio or through the whatever that changes their mind or has positive lyrics or has an energy field that breaks them from making that decision that is life-changing so never think that as little as I do has no effect. It absolutely has. And usually a more profound effect than we could even give it credit for because we don't see it on the earth plane for the most part. A lot of things happen without our knowledge. And that is the magic of everything. So our heart, seek the answers within. 
they are all sitting there and they are rumbling around in our heart so what do we have for the above card there yeah the ace of fire talking about a strong personal energy and also the fire element is about taking action look at the fire burn right in the middle of this person and I feel like that's what we're resistant to. We're resistant to taking any guided action whatsoever. And we may be even resistant to a degree where we don't want to come from our heart whatsoever. We don't want to listen to our heart. So we may have been hurt in this way and not healed. And that is what's preventing us from going in a good way. So now, change is unavoidable. Again, this is the universe. This is coming down on a few readings here saying we are going to change you no matter if you want to change or not but it, we're giving you the opportunity through your instinct and your heart to feel where we can make answers here if we do not choose to listen change will be there and again when the universe comes down with a tower it's not so pleasant but if we do it then we can do it the way that you know this kind of thing get in there before they do is the sense crown of earth regenerate and sleep so part of this shutting everything out on a heart level may be um attributed to a lack of sleep uh and a need for a recharging of the battery and the sense is um that maybe when we get our rest or we recuperate somewhat from emotional energies that we may be able to somewhat take in little snowflakes of of things in the heart center so rest and um regenerative sleep may be the key here to getting into a different i was going to say mindset but heart set is really what they're keying it down to and again creative ability is a high way that you can pay into the universe and it feels good it feels abundant and you are giving back to people people will be attracted in that way and you can help people in ways you just don't understand when you're when you're initially in the creative phase okay so on top of that creative ability we get the empress and talking about positivity that's one way right to keep yourself positive um giving back to the universe in a way that because an artist they create to make themselves happy it's you know whatever it is that they do they may have a dream about a certain vision and then they they are able to put it on paper and suddenly it becomes a, be a beautiful work of art that other people want to purchase you know and it, it flows everything flows in that way and the sense here is is the positivity we need an outlet for our positivity to flow and if we're so bunged up with negativity, then we need to look at our life in a different way where we create positivity because we're literally on our knees planting seeds to grow here. Okay, so on top of the fire element, again, a fire from the heart. I feel like this is shut down at this time and we're needing to take action from it, but there's like a, a no service sign <laughs> putting up. Uh, on top of that, we get the Hierophant and fear. Yeah, we are not wanting to go outward from our heart. We may have been hurt in our heart and therefore fear to go outward in it. Simple. Okay. And then on top of this, um, need for rest and sleep. Again, you know, like as a mother, right? If you're in labor, you you're, you lose your mind. <laughs> they say uh, the pain that you go through through labor and whatever, but it's the greatest love that you'll ever fear, uh, feel comes out on the other end. But when you regenerate, you get your sleep and you invest in that child, there's a great uh, worth there. I'm using a child as an example, but you could use that in a relationship as well. When we get our sleep and we're rested and we're at full power, we can invest in things differently than we, you know, it's easy to shut the heart off out of fear. It's more courageous to go forward and cut through that. Okay. Uh, on top of this regenerative energy, we have the three of wands and there's uh, doubt. So we have fear and doubt. And a lack of positivity is what I'm feeling, but a need to invest in something of a positive nature. Now, if things aren't going right in the heart center in your universe, then we need to invest in something that makes us feel that positivity first off. If we cannot get there, everything else will fall apart no matter. And the universe coming down upon you create this for you in some way or another. So that's your spiritual side here. It's kind of a... 
We're giving cancer the opportunity to change their life before we change it for them. On a spiritual side, we need to be happy. If we're not happy, we need to do something about it. Okay. On the work front, Seven of Swords. This is about someone going into their files and rearranging things. So this could be a rearrangement of job. This could be a rearrangement of duties within a job. Or it could be simply, literally, that we have an accounting job and we're going through the papers and trying to file things and get organized. Sense is, is there's disruptions here. We may not be, everything may not be lined up perfectly. Okay, next card. King of Swords. This is, we got a board meeting here, and a woman in charge. Just give me a minute here. Um, they What they said to me was a need to understand differences. So we may have differing opinions at work. I feel a very individual nature here, like we we have things on our own we got to deal with. But they were saying to me there's a difference of opinion. So we may have someone at work that... I don't know, maybe behind the fact that we got to rearrange things or whatnot, um, but needing to look at someone else's opinion of how to run things, this kind of thing, need to look at things differently. I feel that doubt card coming back up. It's like uh, either someone is telling us something from a sense of authority and we doubt that, or someone is telling us something and we from authority are doubting what they are telling, this kind of thing. But there's a need to keep an open mind about everything, not get too stirred up. Uh, we get the Ace of Swords, which is about truth telling and clarity and can also be about opening to success. I feel like there may be an area here where we're trying to reorganize things. And we may even be bringing a few people to the table here to say, okay, look, <laughs> uh, I, we got to get this done, right? A, a point of view that maybe other people may be doubting or we may be doubting. And so we gather these people to say, look, here's the truth, da, da, da. We may be an integral part of trying to get something together here at work. Um, and I feel like that's the greater rearranging. We're trying to get the facts right here and recategorize something or re establish something that may not be in the flow of what everybody else is doing so we're going to gather them and go look if we go down the road this way it's not going to work out so like that's the truth i feel like the cancer has a truth that needs to be laid in the office area in order for these people to kind of wake up hey we're hitting a dead end here and if we keep going down this track we got to change things so i feel like they're bringing um things up in order to get this addressed. Okay. <laughs> the tree cards on top of everything here. We have the seven of swords. Again, rearranging things and reconfiguring in order to create a, a successful energy or a, a better flow, this kind of thing. We have the woodbine talking about clarity and focus. Yeah. Keeping our, our mind sharp in order to make sure that down the road things are clear and precise. Okay. King of Swords, again, I feel like there's there's a, a grouping here that we have to contact in order to get everything done properly. Like, it's not just us that knows. We need, need to let everybody else know what's going on here in order to open up something to be solved. On top of that, we get the Gorse Energy talking about passion and strength. We may feel very passionate about this. This is why we're coming forward. I feel no hesitation here, no blockage. I feel like we're going to uh, meet these people and tell them what we have to say. Then again, we'll be in our strength when we do it quite highly. So again, excuse me, the swords, um, the truth that is going to be laid here from, I feel like cancer has access to some kind of truth here because of the files that they're going through and what they're seeing, but nobody else may be seeing this. So they're going to pass it on. On top of that, we get choice and healing. Yeah. A choice to come forward and share with everybody rather than just seeing our corner of it. Um, so again, I'm feeling the heart. They're showing me the heart energy of the bear again. 
uh, making sure that we share with others in order to, you know, forward the group, to advance the group, not just advance me. So this is good because I feel like there's a tapping into this. I mean, I kind of get an Adam and Eve feel from this, like we could take a bite and just keep it to ourselves while everybody else crumbles. But that's the choice that we make either way, okay? Now, as we're getting into the sun and moon cards, clarity and focus that is needed to figure this out for one and to share it with others for two. Uh oh, we have the tower card. Hmm. We may not catch this in time, is the sense. And we may actually be res held responsible for something here that we had every opportunity to clarify, but it kind of like it got swept under the rug here. Ooh, ooh. Okay. On our strength and passion, again, I felt like this was down the middle. Like we could very easily... No matter if we share with this group or not, I feel like the tower is going to hit, is the sense. But we left it to the last minute. We could have come forward with it sooner, is the sense I'm getting. Like, we could have avoided disaster. On top of that, we get the Queen of Wands. And that's about, again, passion and, you know, going forward. She's got her thing lit. She's going. There's somebody here has an agenda. And again... We, yeah, they keep saying we left it to the last minute. We're going to deal with it, but it's not to the point where we can avoid destruction or some kind of calamity here. It's like uh, it's going to be a little bit of chaos is the sense. Because we may have held back information that we're going to be found out for. Like, well, you knew this at this time. Why didn't you tell us this kind of thing? This is what I'm getting. But the tower is going to hit. Okay, so... Again, there was a choice that we made to either keep it to ourselves or share. And I feel like this is still, I don't know if it's still in limbo or for some, it may be a choice that still needs to be made. For some, it's a choice that has been made already. Um, and that's telling the truth and coming forward here in something that we're holding back. And again, we know the, the um, what do you call that? We know the the worth here like we know that it can create destruction but we're leaving it till the last minute it's almost like to i don't know why but anyway on top of that we get change and the two of pentacles yeah and that's about juggling things so too many things that we had to juggle yeah we may have too much on our plate period and there's a lot of things at work here that we are just not really, our heart is not in it. And if our heart was in it, we would have come forward sooner, but we kind of didn't care enough. And because of that, the tower fell. Now I feel like because the tower is on the outside, not right down the center, it affects us, but it doesn't affect us. And I think the cats are sitting there going, well, you guys, you know, you're just as guilty as me because nobody else saw this this kind of thing i feel like a, a throwing it off on somebody else but nonetheless it was something that the cancer seen well ahead of time coming down the pipe but may have been too busy to bring it up to the proper authorities here and because of that the tower fell and inadvertently will affect them in a, in a way that is not heavy but it's going to affect them in some way or another and again the change uh, is unavoidable was on this side I think and that's the tower when the tower comes we have an instinct we don't follow it we don't follow it we don't follow it then the universe throws a tower and again this is to create a change even though it's drastic and chaotic at that moment it's there to create a change in in order to get you where you need to be that is for your highest good and we may not be in alignment with that meaning we may not think that this this tower falling is going to come, any good's going to come of it, but that's the universe putting you on the right track. Ooh. Okay, so that's work. Wow, powerful. Okay, on the romance side here, first card we have is the emperor. <laughs> Taking charge in their power, 
very decisive in making decisions. Okay, this is what I get. Next card we have is the three canes. I've had this before in the cancer reading. It's about major steps in a relationship here. Usually when I get this three of wands, it signifies a deeper a deeper step in a relationship. So if we're dating, we're going to be a solid. If we're solid, we're going to be moving in. If we're moving in, we're going to be engaged. If we're engaged, we're going to get married or have a bit, you know, a deeper commitment in a relationship here. Now, the emperor is facing that energy, but they're not looking in that direction. So it gives me a sense of pause. Like this emperor has a mindset and then there's an energy of engagement here. I don't know if they're in cahoots with it. Next. Eight of Pentacles. That's about being happy and enjoying life and being um, vibrant. And I mean, that's kind of the happiest couple card you can get. That's where you giggle till your belly hurts and you're up late at night talking and you don't realize six hours has passed. You know, this kind of stuff. This being with someone, the enjoyment factor is quite high. So, what's going on? Let's go to the second row of Norman here. As we go back to the Emperor energy, I get a very stern energy here, like a very stoic and uh, powerful energy, like I'm the boss. Now, on top of him, we get 38, the bridge. Now, what that means is, and this could be the Cancer energy, because again, they were saying, we need to be in our heart energy. This, I do not feel a lot of heart. I feel logic and... Um, what do you call that? Mind-based uh, question and answer. If it makes sense. And if it don't, I'm out of here. That kind of thing. Um, we got a lot of wealth of knowledge to come from. But not a lot of heart and compassion from this man. The bridge is talking about bridging over that in order to go into a more softer, compassionate area. This is what I get. Because the bridge is overcoming obstacles. What obstacle? The harshness of this emperor. It's very harsh, very crude, very, you know, you listen to me, da, da, da. He does not have a softness to him. But I feel that there's a bridge here that will allow this to happen. In this area of someone here that we want to take a deeper step with. So, on the three of wands again this is about a man is really he's got family around he's going to engage to her and she's like oh my god i'm getting engaged blah 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 <laughs> that's kind of thing so the whole family so there's a father witnessing that maybe a brother or family on another side and uh he's on the knee and he's got the you know ring behind his back i'm gonna propose da 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 this is the scenario so this may be happening to you in some kind of shape or form or maybe in your energy field over this time. Christmas is a time where people, you know, a lot of them feel in the giving mode and uh, engagement is part of that. 34, the fish. This is about work and it's about money, how we make our money, how we earn our money. This may have an influence as to who we are with or um, has an influence over this scenario of getting engaged our wealth how we earn money this kind of thing now on top of the fun loving energy here we have which is good the four the home so that is basically we have a lot of fun at home we enjoy our partner we are happy with who we're with it serves us like our happy factor where's where's our happy place at home we feel very joyful with the partner that we're with and we may have a solid job and whatnot, and we're just going to continue to grow. If um, we may be moving in with this person, um, yeah, we may be moving in, uh, like moving home for this person. We may be changing job for this person, or this person may be doing that for us. Uh, we are overcoming a lot here in order to get what it is that we want. That really makes us truly happy. Okay, continuing. <laughs> it's all good. Um, bridging the gap of, of the emperor. The emperor is really kind of heartless. He makes decisions not based on his heart. But he will make it on what is logically makes sense to him. And he's been through a lot of shit. He just don't mess around with things that don't make logical sense. Now, the bridge, again, is about overcoming challenges. I feel like the challenge here is for him to 
take his heart into account. And we got all this good mushy gushy stuff on the other end here that contributes to that. Somebody we want to spend the rest of our life with, someone who is financially stable or we are financially stable or the fact that we combine our resources and we can become this, this is what's happening. So on top of the um, overcoming obstacles, we have the judgment card. It's been coming up a lot lately. The judgment card on the love side speaks to a tying together of a relationship or an untying of a relationship. Either way, it's a decision to go forward in an energy that suits us. Now, earlier I was picking up an energy. If we don't make up our mind, our mind's going to be made up. So there may be someone here who is in a way that we are not happy. And the universe wants to put you in a way that you are happy. And in fact, uh, some of you might be in the switch of that over this season. Because this is the universe deciding to untie you or tie you into a relationship. And that is universally driven. we got angels and a little Cupid, whatever. Um up here, you know, they're, you're going to get stung. <laughs> That's the sense. But it's good. It's good. You want to feel this thing in this. You want to. <laughs> so 34. Again, engagement. So this could be in your future or, um, you know, depends. Fish is about the finances. And I do get, there's a sense here, if we combine our finances, we can be quite stable, uh, the two of us. And we may not be in the same home at this time and we may be moving to that partner or they may be moving to us now on top of that fish card wow we get the three of wands and what do you know that is being tied we could be karmically tied or we could be tied together by marriage uh and engagement as well somebody here is really in love with another person and they're gonna get together is the sense now the home the home may be you know Again, we have a lot of fun with this person and we feel at home with them is the sense that they're giving me. And we may have a partner that has a home and we have a home. So we get to decide which one we're going to make, you know, and which one we're going to sell. So on top of that, we get, wow, <laughs> navel, navel wants three of wands these are two passionate embraces so really someone who who overtakes our passions in a way uh where we are not only emotionally invested but passion is abound here we cannot keep our hands off is the sense and it may come for some quite quickly because the universe when they do shit like this <laughs> it's powerful it's powerful but again it's for a reason right to make you happy in the moment okay now the next card on top of the 20 again universe going to come in here and tie you spiritually to someone we get the four of cups this is interesting because the four of cups is kind of about distractions or being distracted by shiny things is this a shiny thing i feel like this is something that makes us really happy uh but maybe what's going on here is we may be distracted by something else and not being appreciative of what's there oh, i feel a lot of appreciation here <laughs> but we're indulging in something here but we may be distracted on some level or another um that's kind of like a disappointment card We're trying to bridge through the heart and this is where the disappointment sits. So something off there. I can't quite put my fingers on it. But uh, the three of wands, again, a passionate embrace. These two are going to feel very magnetically charged towards each other right away. So we're going to meet someone here we're going to really want to walk down the aisle with, like almost at first sight. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Seven of Cups is about choices and look at all the lamps and not one of them has a hint as to what's in there. So we may be coming across an energy here where we have a lot of passion for someone but we may not understand fully what's inside. And this may be the distraction. Now, be careful. <laughs> Again, uh, we may be distracted by something shiny, like superficial, when there's something of more worth 
that is hiding out of our view. Now we can pick one of these lamps. We may have a lot of options in the air. We may pick one of these lamps, but we don't know which one is truly for us uh, or of a benefit. There could be a lot of little snakes in these um, lamps, right? So the sense here is be careful. If we have a lot of options on the dating front, be careful what we choose here. We may be somewhat disappointed at this time, but it may be because we're looking in the wrong direction. Okay, on top of this, another passionate card, and that is usually about uh, sexual passion that is ignited. Um, it'd be like two people kind of eyeing each other all evening and then they get, you know, back in the forest and then they just kind of let everything loose now on top of that, we get the six of cups yeah someone from our past someone who we have fond memories of this may be someone who we are revving up to be with we may actually indulge with or we may go to their home and have a, an exciting night here that kind of starts us on a path is the sense i'm getting now, what does Casanova have to say about the Four of Cups here? And this is about being distracted by superficial things while there's things of worth in the background that we're just not paying attention to. So it's saying we're, we're not looking in the right area, right? Love in all the wrong places, this would be it. Now, oh, this is the dud car. This is my card I put in there when the universe has to say that we can't um, can't give you any insight here because it might change this person's fate and this is written so it has to go through so there is something about someone that we don't notice or we um, are thinking in the mundane or something is going to happen here with someone that we're not paying attention to so it's like we're not going to notice but we'll notice it's pivotal it's part of our karmic path here so the seven of cups we may feel like we got a lot of choices or a lot of things up in the air where we could go in many di different directions but there's a lot of th you know a lot of things that could jump out of these cups but again there's no sense of what's in them in this deck there's a lot of coins and stuff and again i got the sense of of money meaning something here so on top of that Again, we get the Ten of Pentacles, which talks to um, Battle of Wits or Bluff. Hmm. So we may be uh, calling someone's bluff in a romantic area, or we may be battling wits with someone in a romantic area. And this may be the distraction that they're talking about, you know. Uh, we may be kind of, you know, battling with someone here calling a bluff when there's actually things on a grounded sense we can deal with like game playing is what I get yeah I get game playing here quite highly this may be someone from our past but nonetheless six of cups what do we get there queen of cups that is your energy and she speaks to Rick risk challenges and a seducer so if we are not in the energy of, of seducer, we may be someone that's being seduced, okay? Now, this may be what the bluff is all about here. Somebody here is intentively going after someone else or the possibility of going after someone else, someone else is in the air. Another person is calling a bluff here. Give me a minute. Someone's trying to seduce someone else. you got to figure out where you fit in that scenario. I feel like... Because they're putting that energy there, I'm going to say it is the cancer. is trying to seduce an energy to see if they will go all the way. I feel that the cancer energy is going, well, you're going to make the decision or not. Are you going to come my way or not? As if in a bluff, as if they're calling their bluff. <laughs> I got one layer of spiritual cards left. Because the, the cancer energy here, or the, the Queen of Cups energy, the one that is 
trying to turn on the charm for someone else. Feels like that other person might be telling the truth like they want me, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I don't think they really are. I don't think they're really coming from their heart or they have the courage to do so. So there's a bit of a game play there. Okay, so now as we go back over the energy of uh, the universe, there's something that needs to play out here fatefully in this way, <laughs> uh, in this game way. The universe is not given any insight there because it needs to play out spontaneously and the way that it's written. And if we give anybody any cards here, they're going to, try and manipulate their way out of it so casanova on top of him we get the tetrahedron talking about manifestation and fire i said can i go so far as to say that there will be a manifestation of something in this way that will create a scenario where we will see whether or not this is a bluff and it may be a manifestation of a new partner. It may be a manifestation of this partner coming forward. But either way, it's going to be a manifestation of someone coming forward in their true energy. Um, on the bluff card, what do we get? The lotus flower, ascent from darkness. Somebody is trying to come out of a darkness here within this relationship. We may have had some dark energy lay upon this relationship in the past. We do not trust them. We do not. Now, we are trying to test the waters to see if they are trustworthy from one last time. Either we're going to go forward in this or we're going to drop it. And this is that coming to be. Now, the queen, this is the seducer. Again, if we put it into the cancer energy and go forward with that, we can flip this on its head. It can be the opposite person, no matter the sex or whatever. But somebody here is turning on the charm to see if they're going to be able to pull that person in once and for all. And we get the complex round. Now, give me a minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're saying to me right away, when I made this card, I said, it looks like one of those, you know, um, stained glass windows that you have in one of those big old solid homes, the homes that what's that song? If the bones are good, the rest, you know, what I mean, uh, one of those old character Victorian homes they are uh, made out of wood and stone and brick and mortar and all of that. It's all in there. I'm getting a sense of this. Um, this queen is looking for stability of home and whatnot. We don't know if we can find it from this person. And there was a sense here of two people having two homes, but it may not be so. We may have someone who is dependent on us for a home and coming into our home for this kind of thing. So there's a real turning point here. I feel like it's going to be make or break for the cancer. We're trying to understand whether this person really truly is in their heart center. And one, we are not in ours. So we will not get that answer from that vantage point is what they're saying. Secondly, as soon as we lower ourselves, I'm saying lower, but as soon as we go from our brain to our heart and we feel it out, we will understand more where we need to come from and more answers will come in that way. I feel like that is the ascent from darkness is coming into our heart to deal with this. If we truly come from our mindset, we will lose this no matter whether we truly want it or not. But if we come from our heart, we will understand if we want it from our heart or and also understand the other person's vantage point as well. We will see it more clearly when we dip into our heart center either way there is going to be a manifestation of a forward movement here either with this partner or uh, moving in a direction of away from this partner I mean obviously right but there may be a manifestation of someone else coming into the picture There's something they want to say here. Just give me a minute. We are, the cancer is trying to get out of dark energy. The dark energy, what is that? Shutting off our heart and going forward and not taking anything of um, compassion into account. That's our darkness. We're trying to get out of that. 
that's the first step in order to make any headway here. And from there, you will continue again. See, there's, there's a card here that needs to be played by the universe. Once that's played, everything will be clear whether we're in our heart or not. Because decisions will be made. I don't know how to say it. It's just like things will be made for us, I think, because we won't be able to get in our heart center, but we're going to realize it's going to be very obvious where this person sits. And be careful because they might be coming after us. Someone might be coming after us for our ability to... Um, to, for our home, like for a sense of stability within a home. There's a lot of good things here, and we have a past with this person. Like we have a, uh, a long time where, you know, we may not have seen this person. Um, it's like feelings don't go away, but we got to understand where they're coming from. I feel like a roundabout way the cancer's going about it, but whether or not they, they act on this is, will become clear. So that's a good thing because you really do want to know either way what's going to happen. I feel like it's just going to be illuminated. Whether the counselor does this or that, they're, it's going to be illuminated quite highly where this person sits. So hopefully that helps you over the Christmas season. Again, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and all that. Stay safe. Take care, have fun, and be kind, and we will talk to you next year.